I bet we can beat the shark though. You know what? Screw it. I'm level 21. Instead of questing, let's just go try to beat the damn shark. I bet you I can. And if level if I come back at level 25 and we can't beat Banshee. Oh, hey, there we go. Honestly, this might be one of the best things we could do because we could at least farm the uh, the wheel. And I could maybe farm the wheel to the point where we get a Wailing Banshee. I think we get a Wailing Banshee. That's kind of a game changer. Anything that has that echo is totally useless to us. No, I don't think so. I saw ward regeneration, but I'll keep that around. That might end up being something. Attack speed is nice with vampire. It's still nice to pay attention to melee weapons and melee and a melee build for once, but we are definitely Definitely having some struggles here. Okay, here we go. War recharge delay. Reload speed doesn't matter to me. Absorb bullets. Uh, the reload speed just ruins it. I said I want survivability, but that just doesn't help me enough. I'd rather have the roid. It's strange to me that this isn't a quest. Is that nightshade that could carry us right through this shit? The vending machines in this area always suck. People say she's supposed to be the moxie of this, dude. Who's attracted to somebody with fucking white dead eyes and goat horns? All right, watch us get a Wailing Banshee right at the start. Yeah, I did the thing. Is it bug now permanently? Alright, I'm going in. Okay, we have four of these. If you if you paid your ten dollars per DLC, you get four of these. Hooray. It's glass. Doesn't reflect how you look. It shows you who you are. As we gaze into the unknown. We see the familiar coiled, fishing for their perfect catch. 
a bigger fish than their friends, a prize to make all their struggle worthwhile. And as they waited, they realized they didn't even like fish. It was slimy, scaly, and smelled like, well, family. So they set out in search of better prey. And almost by accident, they stumbled across a beast beyond their wildest imagination. Hey man, Ingenuity's taken to the Martian skies 28 times. That's amazing. Okay. It's time to play maybe the most loathed and controversial DLC in Borderlands history next to Graham Altorg, which is a uniquely Borderlands thing to say. I think we have a better chance of beating the god dang shark though than any other boss right now. All the other bosses we're facing have AoE Novas all around them that completely devastate our ability to, to do what we do. Oh god, this is actually going to be really hard though. <laughs> we have to... okay. Uh, we've been allowed to use guns for puzzles and that has to continue. Spells work. I, I'm very tempted to say we, we can do battle mage. We can't do guns, but we can battle mage. Just so we can move this thing along. I know it's probably more fun to have the suffering continue, but these puzzles are so lame. You don't even have to pay attention to what's up there. It always has to be a shark. But you can just sit here and swing it because it'll just automatically lock on a shark. Whenever it hits shark, you're done. Oh, we had her back. Now that was a true spin to win. You get him in a corner. I'm more excited for the next challenge run, which is white gear only, but it gets to include all elements of the game, but at least I can shoot guns again. This is my house. I mean, this at least has an enchantment. Yeah, I feel like this is, this might carry us for a bit. I'll do this tier one just to see if we can beat the shark and then uh, I'm gonna go try Banshee again with this sword. But still the issue with Banshee is not damage, it's we can't get close to her. <laughs> Look, snake ladies. We never fight snake ladies in this game. Skeletons, crabs, and goblins. Whoa. I think there's less enemy variety in this one than there was in Borderlands 1. Borderlands 1 had skags. It had those worm things. It had those... Bugs that come out of the ground in the racetrack area. Bandits. Multiple different varieties. It had the Iridians. It had the Crimson Lance. Yeah, I think. And I. There's, there's Rax. Raxilla. Or the. Whatever the. Th Rack. Whatever that thing was called. I. Uh, yeah. Really? There was more. Because this has Snake Ladies. Crabs, skeletons, humans, trolls, or an orcs. They're kind of like all in the same. 
sharks. And it's a fourth wall like game. I, I don't understand how they couldn't have been. I know there's memory limits, but uh, it can't be that small that you can't. The Chaos Chambers could be like completely badass. This is not a real Borderlands. You're not like driven by the lore. You could put anything you want in here. You could fight Zapadon's legions from pre-sequel. You could fight COV from Borderlands 3. You could have the enemies from Necro DeFeo in there. The fact that they sold this as a full AAA Borderlands style, like Borderlands game really. And looking back, Borderlands 3 has much more content is just ridiculous to me. I'm more tempted these days to go back and actually do a Borderlands playthrough. There's other games <clears throat> I would probably rather do before that. Wonderlands is still new, so I'm doing this, but... I never did do the challenge runs for Borderlands 3, and now that's, like, really tempting. In the face of what? With just a couple... With just a month out from pre-sequel, well, or, well, pre-sequel's fitting, but Wonderlands what we're looking at and this is the dlc i mean i'm just swinging at snake ladies at least we can kill these because they don't have the stupid ass novas and immunity phases that gearbox loves to hang on to everything numbs oh so they weren't meant to be unknown name finally it has a name it was unknown name for weeks So if you have an AOE gun, these are really easy. <clears throat> so you can just blast the whole pillar a couple times. Okay, I know there's a bridge that can come down. That's usually where the chest is at. We'll dread win the puzzle. That's how challenging these are. All the big time content creators that like, except for the people that literally have just built their whole brand around Borderlands have already moved on. I think that Baru is currently being canceled because he's an asshole, but like he really shouldn't be canceled for it because it's like not that, but he bought into it, so. I think it's a pretty well known fact he was an asshole. <laughs> you just have to interact with him. Which I can say because I'm just talking to myself right now. This is truly now a masochist playthrough. I was really tempted to do another State of Decay Let's Play, but it's going to be so long until we're... Their team has gotten so small. It's going to be a while until we have the a big content drop. I do think playing this now that this is definitely meant to be a low level lower level dlc like it's a way to farm if you get stuck which is pretty hard to get stuck on the main story unless you're doing something like this but this is pretty much like a good side distraction for farming definitely not ideal for i'm at chaos level 35 and want to grind they still want you to do chaos chambers with that but chaos chambers just get really repetitive 
because they don't break that fourth wall they don't do true procedural generation you do fight the same things over and over again in this in the same basic structure in the same basic rooms even with the featured run <clears throat> people pay attention to the featured run because it's like the one piece of content that they do but soon enough that'll be once i think they do 52 of those i do think they'll do a hot fix every week for a while but once they do 52, it'll just be a randomly generated. I don't see any like, oh my god, we're gonna go all... They're not talking like, yeah, we're gonna go all out. We're gonna really try to make this work. This is gonna be amazing. We're gonna fix this game. It's gonna be one for the, for the ages. <clears throat> this is 100% a by the numbers. You have a year. You better hope they fix as many of the problems as this game has and add as much new content to it as possible within the year that we have. Everything must be meleeed, Celine. Uh, whatever it is, Celine or, uh, let's call her, uh, getting a little cloudy out there. My bearded dragon now just lives on our deck. It's summer here and it's been like 90 degrees, so. Screw it. Turned off his lights. Save the electricity in the bulb because his bulbs are expensive, those UVBs. I mean, he's worth it. He's our pet. We love him, but. Yeah, he's just perfectly happy to live on the deck now. Gotta go get grandma lunch after this. Still, I think we mob fine. As long as stuff doesn't have insta-kill shit around it, we're really okay with just melee. Said so both, there's gonna be the, the snake lady boss is gonna be such a pain in the ass. That we're gonna have to have the Wailing Banshee and I really am just one step away from saying we have to allow spells so that we have some kind of range. Even though it really does kind of go against the challenge. This door has got to be open. I'm just like randomly killing shit now. This feels to actually feels good to actually kill things for once. After we do the first year of this, like I said, I got to go get lunch for grandma, but I think I'll go back to the weep wild dankness. We'll try the banshee one more time. Probably won't get it. So I'll do some side quest over there. If after those side quests, I still can't kill Banshee, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be using spells. I wish more floor loot mattered, because even the purple stuff is all down to like, there's basically an archetype for each class. The Nightshade for the SMGs, the Encrapsulator and the Ludite for the... Um... Torg weapons and the ARs. Anything with multi pallet. <clears throat> the kettle drum for the black powder shotgun. The Torg one that can get 18 pellets, even though it's like really, really rare. They're basically legendaries in and of themselves, but it's sad to me that all the other archetypes, they don't like have. They just don't have value, especially at endgame. Which means in, in most of the legendaries don't have value either. I really like that they made the purple weapons more of them viable. I've always really liked that about Borderlands. I want to have a lot of different loot, <clears throat> have a lot of different options. You want to be interested by most of the stuff that drops on the ground, in my opinion. Like, does it tie into a build? Does it do good damage? Uh, does it have some mechanic to it that could help tie everything together for you? And even though... The floor loot is, in a sense, more important than some of the, say, like Borderlands 2, when you get past level 50. By and large, it's simpler than ever, because it's like exactly five archetypes you're looking for. Encrapsulator, Ludite, the Mashers, 
The kettle drums. They're all multi pellet. They all exist. It's very like Anthem. I used to give Anthem a ton of crap for that, but. It's the same system as Anthem's. This is the AR class. This is the SMG class. A common is just a slightly lesser version of an uncommon, and then it goes up the chain. Anthem actually did have some pretty cool legendaries, though. If they ever decide they're going to shut down the Anthem servers, which has to probably come someday. <clears throat> it's a possibility. I think the reason I haven't done it yet is because you can't actually do it, but... I want to go, like, do one last Let's Play. I did more. I think I made more content for that game than the developers made. Made content around it. There were people ready to dedicate their whole thing to that game, man. It's so sad. I saw a couple fairly large Twitch streamers who were, like, all in on Anthem. That was going to be their game. They were ready to dedicate their lives to it. This area in particular is really bad because it's just about waiting. It's something like exactly four minutes you have to like run around. It's pretty dumb. And four minutes is kind of long. I don't know why they can't base it off enemies. Like every enemy you kill should add a little water or something. I think it's one more room. It might be two. It might be two. I think this is the next to last room. Now we could technically farm this boss for a little while. I'm not sure how worth it'd be though, and I don't want to do that on the in the let's play. I want to try to limit the let's play to real progress, which is why I didn't record us or record the uh, farming that went on. This might even be risky because this sword is really good for us right now and I'm worried that I or we could out level its usefulness. Interesting fact, this is the first Borderlands game that actually has enemies scale to your level. Yeah, I'm mostly more excited for the common run because that's like I could actually be looking at the, some of this stuff and using it. I feel like the style of Mancer I started will be it's probably in a good place to go ahead and do that run. But gotta beat this one first. It would be really it'd be a bad call to start on another run while this one's still in progress. This one's just at a really tough position. I can't Move the damn thing forward. I love these uh, fork style pistols. I wish they were more useful. You just drop AOE bombs on this stuff. That does the puzzles just fine. Once you lock them in, see, they don't even move. It's just that simple. Well, at least usually they don't. What the hell? out there just blowing off dark magic <clears throat> our bills are gonna be nuts this month 
we had to run tons and tons of water down the sewer to, <clears throat> when we were cleaning it out to make sure we had it going right. Well, that was really fast. Now we're like having this heat wave this year. It was really cool. It was really bizarre. It was like 40 degrees in May for the first part of May. It went below freezing twice. Now we're we've been hitting 90 the last three days. Yep, it was the last one. Do we farm it? Yes or no? Probably should say no, but... Still don't agree with the Delia nerf. <laughs> Went to go play Halo Season 2 yesterday, and... Fucking... I just think Halo and me don't get along anymore, and everybody's so fucking sweaty about it. I tried again today. See, this is a day, especially because I'm like resting my leg where it's like, hey, today would be a good day to stream. And the moment that I would go to do that, what would happen? Grandma would be like, Turn! something would be happening chaotic, which again, I'm thank God she's still with us, but that's just how life is right now. Oh, man. My leg is shit. I think I need spells, man. People that must be stronger than me when it comes to this, because shit. I want to change my melee weapon up. See, at least in this case, there's lots of stuff to give us a second win, though. Because he gets a lot harder. This first form is not a big deal, but his next few forms are really tough. That sword's at least doing steady damage. <clears throat> Game just does not want to give us that Roy damage. We were like basically dying, but we kept 27 shield the whole time. I wish you could unlock your second subclass through this guy. It's going to be cool just to drop a boss again. For some reason, our survivability is so much better right now. Makes a difference when they don't have an AoE. Watch us finally get that armor. I've been trying to get... Ah, oh, damn. Useless. Useless. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, screw it. That's a lot more shield. Oh, hey, we leveled. Hell yeah. I'm doing it for the sake of melee swing speed. Since I've started down strength, I'm going to stay strength. But I know that I know now that I think the big mistake was constitution. I know that I think yes. I'm just going to spend all the souls. Wow, having like much better luck than usual. Ah, uh, yes, I'll reserve all but one health. What do we get that's actually a berserker there? Most of the abilities are maximum health, area damage, whatever. I'm gonna do it. Didn't actually drop our health. Hmm. Now that is what I'm looking for. That's a survivability shield right there. Maybe that's the answer. See you in the next one.